I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief on this Tuesday. Premier Wayne Panton has declared that the meeting with his counterparts from the British Overseas Territories in the Caribbean to discuss a range of issues affecting the various territories and ways to address them was successful. Hosted by the Cayman Islands government, topics at the meeting discussed included the financial services industry, beneficial ownership registry, climate change, threats and mitigation initiatives, Caribbean Overseas Territories engagement with the United Kingdom, as well as the upcoming Joint Ministerial Council Climate Change Conference and similar forums. In his closing remarks, Premier Panton thanked all the representatives who attended the meeting while making particular note of the United Kingdom representatives who joined virtually and stayed for the entire session despite the time difference. Premier Panton says, quote, I'm pleased that we had the opportunity to gather for this event at a location that is convenient for most for of us. I certainly believe that the session has been successful. It has exceeded my own expectations in terms of what we've been able to discuss, the relationships that have been deepened. Every time we, met, we meet and have conversations, we get together to know each other better and we have a better understanding of what our individual and collective issues are and how we can address them, end quote. Now, representatives from the Cayman Islands government and the other territories will collaborate to fine tune the discussions and various decisions that were made at the weekend meeting in Florida. Well, six civil servants are part of the Chamber's Leadership Cayman Class of 2023 that has raised over $104,000 for the Meals on Wheels program. Meals on Wheels provides free, hot, nutritious meals to older persons, those who are homebound, and adults with disabilities throughout the Cayman Islands, Monday to Friday, 52 weeks of the year. The Leadership Cayman Class of 2023 selected the organization for their annual community service project, given the significant impact Meals on Wheels has within the community and the urgent need for more funding and volunteers in this time of growing demand. Recently, the Chamber President, along with alumni from Leadership Cayman Class of 2023, presented Meals on Wheels manager Jennifer West with the giant check. The fundraiser was hosted free of charge by Vital Cayman Open uh, Spin Bar and Yoga Den. Now, 23 teams of up to five people participated in the back-to-back -back spin and kids Zumba classes. The fundraise will allow Meals on Wheels to deliver over 10,000 meals to persons within our communities. Well, seven teams from the Cayman Islands uh, from a joint group of academies, sports club and ESM participated in this year's Target USA Cup. The teams put in a great overall performance with several teams making it to the semifinals and finals, earning two major trophies in the process. Academy's head of youth development and under-19 boys head coach Paul Biles uh, heaped praise on all the teams, saying uh, five out of teams making it, five out of seven teams rather, making it to the semifinals or finals and bringing home two trophies is one of their best performances, which demonstrates that the program is very effective and their boys and girls are improving significantly. Now, parents, volunteers, and sponsors were thanked for helping the youth players have another great experience at the Target USA Cup, the largest youth football tournament in the world with over 1,200 teams competing from 17 different countries. Meantime, another group of boys from the Academy program met up with Premier, the Honorable Wayne Panton, and Minister of Youth, Sports, Culture, and Heritage, the Honorable Bernie Bush, and Miami International Airport on their way to Portugal for two weeks uh, of a football training camp recently. Now, they went uh, along to give the boys their best wishes. We, of course, wish them the best as well. And to learn more about the results from the Target USA Cup games, you can check out the Academy Football Club's Facebook page. Turning to our weather forecast, uh, light winds and slight to moderate seas will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours as a tropical storm that is currently over Jamaica is expected to move into the Cayman Islands area for, by Tuesday afternoon, supporting additional cloudiness and showers. Now tonight there is a 30% chance of showers. Seas will be slight with wave heights up one to three feet. The two day outlook is for a decrease in cloudiness and showers from Thursday morning as that tropical wave moves west of the Cayman Islands area. Now, for more details, as always, on our local weather conditions, you can go online to weather.gov.ky or check out the Weather Services Facebook page. That ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us and wishing you a safe and wonderful evening.